everyone. I'm going to be trying out some um, Perfect Cat, Perfect Cast, which is supposed to be five times stronger than regular plaster, in um, a uh, terraced mold. And I've measured I need roughly 15 ounces between these two. This one is supposed to be a dragon for to make another pen cup. So I've got... I'm going to mix a little extra and I have another mold to pour any spare into. So I've got four ounces of water and 12 ounces of powder because it's a three to one ratio, three ounces of, or three parts powder to one part water by volume, not by weight. And I'm going to, I've got some cement um, color powder, which I'm going to use to try and tint this. I can find the spot to get it open here. I'm going to mix the powder into the, the, the cement powder, color powder, into the perfect cast before I add it to the water. Because it said you're supposed to add the perfect cast to the water. This is double bag. Going to be messy. That's why I have gloves on. So I'm going to just slowly mix the two powders together to get the color mixed in. Don't know if I should add more or not. This is first time ever using since like grade school, you know, using any kind of casting material. Don't know how well that'll do. We'll have to wait and see until I get it into water. I'm supposed to pour the powder into the water and mix.
it's holding a nice black color. More gray, but I'll know next time to add a bit more black. And this is supposed to be about a 45 minute um, cure time. So hopefully I'll be able to have this back out later tonight and mold. It's just before dinner. It's almost six o'clock, so I'll check it and give it a you know a good hour, especially with a deep mold. Doesn't seem to have measured up just right. I may have to mix up some more. If that's the case, I just may do another color because I have only have two colors for cement, which is red and black, so I will probably have to clean this out, pause, put y'all on pause, clean this out, and get some red. So I shall be back shortly. After I jiggle this into get it at least this so far level. You're supposed to jiggle it like you do with real cement type stuff to make sure you get all the bubbles out. pop too easily. Alright, I'll be back shortly. Alrighty, let's try that again and see if I can figure up a couple more ounces here. I've got three more ounces of powder and an ounce of water. I'm going to add a bit of red to the powder before I add it to the water. I can get that. Can you do me a favor and just make sure that's sealed, please? Thank you. Careful. I don't think it is. Oxide cement color powder. So I have, I know it's tilted, but that's an ounce of water and three ounces of the perfect cast. I'm trying to get into the container here. sideways in here. Okay. Let's 
smaller scoop. Nice, pretty red color. Give me a little bit of a two-tone effect here. a stir. Because apparently with you're supposed to make sure your colors are mixed in before you add, add it to water. stick back. Kind of pinky. Maybe some more color will come in here and I'll get more red. We'll see. If not, then I just know for the next time to add more red. Won't be able to do it this time. those outside and clean them up real good when I'm done here. Ooh, there we go. That's getting some pretty red. Got a pretty cool color. The black wasn't quite enough either. It's kind of sort of gray, but we'll see how it looks when it's completely dry. Don't know this is going to be enough. It's hard to tell. Nope, it's not enough. <laughs> wow. Can't get anything else out of here. Maybe I'll go with a three-tier color and have the bottom white or whatever color is left in here. Going to pause and get it, uh, some more measured up and try this again. Be right, be back soon. Try number three. <laughs> There is some residue because I didn't rinse it out, so there's a little pinkish hint to it. That'll be just fine. It 
it is getting just a bit of a color too. I can get all the powder down in there. There's some spots that are coming back up. I hit record. Yeah, okay. I think I did. <laughs> well, let's hope this is enough. We'll give it some time and we'll be back when it's time to demold. See y'all soon. Okay, so I still need just a smidgen left, so I'm going to be using Let's Resin Polyurethane Resin. Let's see if I have the hand strength to... I just got A open with no problem, trying to get B. My goodness. Well, it's spinning around, it's just not what the unlock gosh okay Whew. that was a pain I opted to do the polyurethane because it cures in 10 minutes-ish. So these are done, but I don't want to risk demolding this and losing the bottom of this part. So I'm going to mix the polyurethane together and fill it in here. And then whatever extra, I've got a little skull planter mold to put extra into. So I'm going to get... A poured out and get as much out as possible. We're not wasting anything. Okay, that's as good as that's going to get. Move that out of the way. Go ahead and 
have that in there to be ready. Debating, do I want some color? Well, I can paint it afterwards if I want to. Okay, I'll hold off on color. That's the last of that bit. Stir this. Sides. Bottom. And it's starting to warm up, so I'm going to have to go ahead and get this poured into here. Set the right height. Okay, that looks good, and let's, ah, outside, goodness gracious, that would have probably been perfect had I not just poured all that out. <laughs> Scraping this off. I oh, don't drip on there. I don't need any extra. <laughs> I have a mess to clean up. At least it's not on me. Knock on wood. Careful what I say. It might happen. Okay. All right. Get stuff to get this cleaned up. At least out of this stuff. Not going to be able to get that one cleaned up, but... You're in fast in the mold because it's deeper in the skull if you can see into it. It's already going white. This will take a little bit longer.
And when it's cured, I'll just peel that off the mat. And it'll go into my bucket of odds and ends pieces and stuff that I'll, I use in molds that are going to be opaque and usually dark, so they can't be seen. Probably can't get any of those bubbles to pop. Yeah, let's move you out of that mess. It'll be easier to pick up here in a minute. <laughs> I wonder if I can get it to clean up before. It's solidified. It's gelled up and sticky. I'll be back in about 15 minutes or so. I'll let it. Uh, harden up and cool down and we'll pop everything out. See y'all soon. Hello everyone. We are back to check out and see how everything's come about. I'm going to let these two set a little longer. This one's cool mostly. This one's still warm, but we're going to start on this one that we poured first anyhow. So just move stickiness out the way there. At least I can pull that up. I'll figure that out in a minute. Let's cross fingers and see if this worked. Be interesting to see how this actually looks outside the mold. And it's 7.30 so it's been a good bit of time of all the extra times I had to do the pours for that stuff and then waiting for this so let's see dump out the little pieces there don't want it on in here it's gonna be interesting trying to get out Oof, lots of details. If I could just get the silicone mold down. Come on, roll. <laughs> Hold. Aha. Stay. Don't come back up. <laughs> Oof. Oh, come back here. Interesting. Where on earth? How on earth? Weird. Mm. Ooh wee. Look at that. That is cool. Come on. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yep, I figured that was a, a matte mold. That'd be perfect for non-shiny resin. And that is not the first time I use this. The first time I actually use this, I put um, cement and water, and there was nowhere anywhere online I could figure out what how much water to cement. And I apparently used way too much water because that stuff after days and days did not cure. And when I opened it up, it just crumbled into pieces. <laughs> so, 
But look how detailed. It picked up all the details. So have a few bubbles. I do this more often. I'll have to get one of those uh, shakers. Missed a few spots in his spine there. But he is so cute. Another little uh, pin holder for all the you silicone tools and stuff and pins, paint brushes. I'll let him dry up a bit more. Oh, missed a spot in his ear too. And I can figure out how I'm going to make him stand out a little better later. Let's move this out the way. Interesting still. All right. Come on. You go with my little resin bits. I have to do some sand and I got a few little hard spots, but pop this out. See how hard this one will be to get unmolded, demolded. It's a stiffer mold. Oop. Yep. And this is, the bottom of this is why I opted to do the polyurethane thing because I was afraid if I hadn't I would have um, popped it right through and would have broke the bottom. So it's not much of a color difference. A little leak on the side there too. That can actually be sanded off for where the polyurethane leaked down the sides. I can get that sanded off. But isn't that a cool? I love the different colors. They came out pretty neat. Let's see. You still feel warm. Static cling. Come on, let go of my fingers. I know it's not all the way to the tip top, but him missing the little teeth is fine. I want to see what this, I just got this in, so curious to see what he looks like. Yep, have some sand in the do there. Oh, cool! Look at that! Oh, wow! He's got flames! Oh, get a little uh, battery-operated tea light candle to put in there. And I can paint him up. Oh, I love that. I'll definitely have to be making more of these. <laughs> well, we're going to be off to dinner. I sure do appreciate y'all stopping by and have, hope y'all have a great day. Oh, cool. That's actually thin enough. I might be able to pop out of those so the light will come through even more. That's cool. Find something a little stiff. If not, I can get my Dremel. Yep, get my Dremel to pop through the eyes. That way I'll have uh, the light will come through it better, just through the eye sockets. He's only missing the bottom teeth. Or is it actually the top teeth and that's just the yeah, it looks like it's actually the top teeth, but that's okay. 
that spot just a little half face that looks cool I like that turned out great Ooh, fix that back clean out the stuff so it doesn't go inside Whoops. <laughs> Static clean. I probably said this already, but I hope y'all have a great day or evening, whatever time of day it is. Um, I'll get this posted hopefully later tonight. We'll see how long it takes us to go do dinner and how tired I am when I get back. If not, it'll be posted on Sunday. Thank y'all for watching. Um, got over um, 170 subscribers now. I'm so excited. Thank you all so very much. I appreciate it. Um, we get uh, more people up, and I definitely plan on doing um, a... Uh, I don't even know how you say it. Uh, Everybody that subscribes and I can see the names and stuff that people who subscribe, then I'll be um, doing a, uh, I guess, pick a name type thing, you know, blind, so I can't see who's who it is, and um, ship off uh, a mold to them for those that are in the United States, because I'm based in the United States. If you win and your name's picked from somewhere else, I can do a Amazon gift card for you. When we get uh, to 500 subscribers. So if you'll, you know, like it, subscribe, comment, because I love reading everybody's comments. Um, see y'all later. Bye. As I ramble on.